Hello? Got pipes of color. Is that yellow becoming blue? Oh, it's the sun rays coming down into the pipes and then turning into a blue energy. Oh, it's, yeah, it's light bridge. Hard light bridges. Hey, we're halfway there. Of whatever you want to call these, this 22 part thing. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. You're not the boss of me. You don't know me. Hip. Aha. So far, I'm not actually using the bridge because I just walked in my own portal, but I'm sure I'll have to use the bridge for something. Aha. An area you can't portal, but you can bridge. I shouldn't be over here, should I? Let's just grab the cube. Oh, it goes, to, it goes over there. That's not good either. These are all bad things, honestly. Okay, so I need access to this cube. But to get access to it, I need to put a light bridge under it to catch it. But to get a light bridge under it to catch it, I guess it's just gonna keep going continuously, so I can head on back. So let's get an angle. That's all solid glass, right? Oopsie. Yeah, so the glass stops it, so we need we need to weigh in first. So instead, let's try to get over there. Because clearly that's something. There we go. This will give me access. This place you can't portal. Yeah. What do you got here? Wait, this opens the door. This opens the door. Odd. Okay, so I need to get that cube from over there and put it over here. And to do that, I need to figure out how to stop it from falling in like that. Okay, straightforward enough. Okay, how do I get back? Uh, I could put this under me. Hip. Oh, I think I might see what's going on here. Okay, so... Hit. Let's try to get a little higher. Just to give myself a little wiggle room as far as falling goes. Now I need to get in here. Good. Uh, aha! And now we can get around the corner and hopefully get that cube. I hope. Oh, going a little lower now. I should probably be a little worried. Uh, I see. But the good news is, if I keep this up, I can just, at any time I can go back the way we came, because I'm on top of the bridge. Okay, that's not good. I'm in the wrong spot. Just gotta move a little to the side. There we go. Oh. Did I miss it? Aha! Caught it. And now the cube is ours. And they can't take it back unless she disintegrates again, which is actually really easy for her to do, so... She can totally take it back, as it turns out. I was lying to you. I do that a lot. I'm sorry. I can't help it. And... plop. Problem solved. Just gotta get the habit of keeping straight which side is the light bridge button and which side's not. Or I'll Excellent. break the whole thing. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Especially not you, huh, Gladys? Is that what we're saying? You would never behave in such a way. And you never have. Definitely. Especially not the time that you tried to flood the, the test chamber with a deadly neurotoxin. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I saved recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. 
That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Wow. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Let me in. Hey, hey! Up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I ah! Bird! 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 Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're going to break out of here. All right, very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes. Keep te Just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. You killed the door mainframe? It was alive? I have so many questions. I mean, I guess Wheatley kind of feels alive-ish. Also, Wheatley is amazing. <laughs> that j Just the simple shock at cause and effect of like, haha, I jammed it with bird eggs. Ah, it's the bird, it's the bird, it's the bird. Like, oh yeah, I guess I didn't think about that, did I? Also, I'm terrified of birds for some reason, even though they should be totally harmless to me. It's fine. Everything's fine. Hello, Light Bridge. With the power of portals, I can claim you. Okay, so... Boop. Just gotta figure out where we're going from here. So this thing drops stuff, so I should probably claim that. Come to me, happy box of companion -y nature. There we go. Alright. We just need to get over there. It's not such a big deal, right? Except for that part a little bit. Okay, cool. Uh, what I should do... Give myself the portal back. And then I can just get back on this light bridge. Ta-da! Now we just need to pick a nice spot to put it down here. That's not a terrible one, but the angle's off. So but I can go from here to there. That'd be ideal, right? Just gotta be really careful not to drop this guy. Here, I'll stand on top of it. There we go. And hit. I did it. I think. Yeah. That wasn't so tough. Light bridges. Well done. In fact, you did so well. I'm going to note this on your file in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. Uh, the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Inferring you have so few commendations that the only thing that you can put there is, uh, they did well enough. They finished the thing they were supposed to do. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. It's funny because I'm going to die. Are you still there? Are you still there? There it goes. <laughs> Immediately said it. Not too I'm just gonna put you right there. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I meant to just disarm you for a moment, but that's fine too, I guess. Who are you? One last problem there. Alright, uh. Are you still there? Yep. Aha! Defeated. This is essentially a rerun of the first game because we're being re the mechanic of how to deal with turrets from then. Just making sure everyone's up on the same page, basically. Of how to deal with turret problems. Right. Just gotta drop one. Drop some boxes on some turrets. Haha! -ha. This Looney Tunes ass scenario. I'm. Gotta drop them straight, right? There we go. I made a mistake and did not drop it straight down. Oh no, it's propped up by my previous mistakes. What a terrible irony is this? That's actually, I'm really in trouble now. Uh, wait, no, I'm good. Ow, ow, ow. Got me at that angle, huh? Well, I was gonna just drop on it, but I guess resolved itself. 
The secret was to be filled with bullets, just as Gladys prophesized. Hi. Nope. Hello. Gotcha. Alright, there's a few of you down. That good? No? No? Yeah. I'll drop a turret on a turret. It's turricide. Although it'd be tragic if it then didn't fall over. Like the one that I dropped was then propped up instead. That'd be a problem for me. Let's go ahead and test again. Tur turrets can activate you, right? Yeah, they're actually hard. Huh. I was about to say the whole the whole point here is the fact that the uh, is that the the weighted companion cubes are weighted and like oh yeah only they can press them down because they're weighted and only weighted things can press it down that's the whole point look how heavy they are turrets aren't heavy enough these things are made of fiberglass and metal or whatever and whatever the hell they're made of those couldn't possibly be heavy enough to push down the thing but then well then comes the fat joke because the character is heavy enough ha <laughs> ha. What if Gladys is just pressing a button to make that thing go up and down on a will, and she specifically presses it whenever I go on it, just to make uh, the main character feel fat? That's commitment to the joke. Well, she might be displeased with what happens next. Whee! It's chapter 19 all over again. Escape! To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. I mean, I wouldn't be aware of the passage of time speci- uh, speci I wouldn't be aware of the passage of time specifically because of the fact that, uh... Uh, I was unconscious for nine, 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 nine. Uh, in this case, I guess she, I get. Was that the path she expected me to take? I thought I was breaking out, but I guess not. That or she was just cleverly caught me again immediately. All right, so there's laser being shot into this guy, which then makes it just go forward more. Really? Oh, they're sensors. They don't they don't amplify it or change its direction at all. They're just sensors. You have to shoot all of them with a laser. Obvious complication here is I only have one of these, and I have to shoot both of them, which means portals are going to be involved. Surprise. Portal one. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. Yay, presents! Also, those uh, those elevators were just completely filled with more cores, weren't they? They're moving fast, so you couldn't really see them, but it's a really cool detail. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people, it looks fine. But right here, a scientist has noted that on you, it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait... It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. She has a medical fashion degree. <laughs> That's great. Hey, seven to go. Or, well... Eight to go, I guess, counting this one. Hi! Nice to meet you. Are you still there? So I need a light bridge, for defensive purposes. By the way, another case of environmental, uh, tutorialization. Hey look, this light thing blocks turrets. I guess we could use this. Can I sneak past it this way? Yes I can. Just gonna stick you right there. You, just, you, you, live, you live there now, enjoy. Alright, that's good, that's good, you enjoy you. Oh, ow. Dude's got range, okay. Hey. I want you continually making noise, honestly, so just go over here and fall over. Search. There you go. Hey. Bye. Anyway, that detail was nice earlier, that it seemed to be a series of elevators that I think were all jam-filled with cores or something like that. They're jam-filled with something, at least. 
And the, the implication there is kind of neat because it shows that she's actively... Like, she's talked about fixing stuff as she's going along. Die, camera. She's saying that she's fixing stuff along the way, and that actually reinforces the idea. It's like she's actually using the elevator system actively to ship uh, raw materials around. And she's, she's actually being divided and using her brain to cover a whole bunch of different tasks at once instead of just us. Okay, so I need to figure out where my goal is. This, obviously, this entire room's full of giant uh, nightmare lasers. And if I get spot at the wrong moment, we're in trouble. That's glass. We need to get rid of the glass somehow. The button. Get rid of the, we need to press the button. But the button's in a room full of cover of enemies right now, and that's bad for us. I can try to cover it like that. So now I'm safe in this room at least. Yeah. Do you guys shoot the glass when you see someone nearby? They don't they don't sense anything past the glass apparently. Except except when I do that, which is obviously a bad idea right now. Actually maybe not that bad of an idea. Let's see here. Ow, 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 ow. I've had better plans before. I've had significantly better plans in the past, honestly. That was a bad call. Anyway, give this a slightly different shot if I can. I'm sure I'll be fine. Huh? Hit! Am I alive? I missed, didn't I? That's why I'm alive. Can I not shoot that wall over there? What? Hit! Yeah. Ta-da! Aww. It's not open. That's a bummer. I thought I found a secret way to finish the level faster, but apparently not. Oh well. Cause that's, I'm like, ooh, I, I think I have a clever way to just sneak in there real quick. But the door's not open. I need to figure out how to, the open door, how to open the door. The fact that it doesn't have a laser pointing at it, I mean, it doesn't have a dotted line going towards it, means it's probably activated by a button instead. Which is semi-unusual. Also, I've trapped myself. No, I haven't. Aha! I can still reach the laser. I mean, still reach the, well, you know. The light bridge. Oh, hi. Yes, thank you, very helpful. Okay. Um... They're freaking out a little bit. So I need something to stop me in midair. Right. I need the light bridge to stop me in midair. And then hopefully not get murdered in midair by turrets. Are you still there? Well, I mean, this gives me access to going directly above them, so I should, just, I should prioritize that. Oh, they're all guarding the companion cube. The one downside of that situation is you have to kind of pray that none of them are going to shoot you along the way. Oh, pressing the button opens the door. Well, my bad. I thought it only affected the shutter, so I was like, ha I got this. Still. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. And now she's threatening my parents. She's so creatively evil. That's why she's such a great villain. She might be. She she might really be the best villain in a, in a video game. I don't know. She she's just voiceover most of the time, admittedly. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. Now she's taunting about my parents being in the puzzle itself. Hi. That's a lot of different types of turret right there. So, digigrade camo. Pff, brick camo. Some of those patterns are hilarious. Huh? Ow. That wasn't very nice. Alright, 16. Jump! Do you see me? What's this thing do? Laser into the floor. Okay. So we're establishing that lasers specifically go through the floor here, which is kind of a big deal. That's useful information. Well, bye everybody. 
Yay! Really, the important thing is just to be the biggest monster you can be. I mean, it's a competition, and we've got high stakes. We've got a, we've got someone that uh, we've got to be better than. Murder to impress. That's what they call it, right? Not dress. Oh, these are all still closed. Okay. Uh, I could redirect the laser if I want to. Where do I go from here? You're closed. You're closed. That's the exit. There's the laser. Okay. So we can set you up. It's lined up with this. Go a little further, perhaps. Maybe a little further over here to take out some of the turrets, too. Alright. We can set this up so that this continually pumps the laser out. And we just need to put out the portal in the right time. Oh, it can't go low enough. Tragedy has struck. Also, it doesn't let me go there anyway because it doesn't shoot through the... Well, it would shoot through the laser, actually. Uh, it would shoot through the wall. Ow. I think I just need to be holding it. There we go. To start at least, I might as well destroy all the turrets I can. Yeah, they gave us a safe setting in which to discover that the, uh... That that works against those guys. So... I see what to do here. Now that we've taken care of that problem... I don't need... Portals. I can just point you straight out the wall from here. Ta-da! And now we have a way of proceeding. List leads on around. I took out all the threats. Good. Got it. Yeah. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. <laughs> Cause they're dead now. You did it, Glass. Congratulations, you're despicable. Yay! I gotta say, by the way, nice touch is one of those nice touches that you expect from Valve because they polish their games and think about these kinds of things. Uh, every single floor ends with the with uh, Gladys talking to you, and you go into an elevator, and the elevator leads to a loading screen. And guess what? Not a single time has me going into the elevator actually cut off the dialogue. I feel, I've been you've, you've probably seen me hesitate in the last chamber and not go into the elevator a few times because I don't want to cut off her dialogue. Because so many games have that happen, from Saints Row to GTA to anything that has a lot of talking in it, really, where you the player has the ability to move around. Uh, but uh, in this game, uh, if I go on the ele elevator and she's still talking, the elevator just seems to continually go forever, infinitely, in whatever direction it's going in, until she finishes talking. And then, finally, uh, it goes loading screen after she her dialogue's over. It's just such a nice touch. From developers that care. Let's go ahead and grab this little guy. What are you gonna do? So that did something, and this did something. That opened the door, good. And what did you do? Ah. You create a hole. Can I fall in the hole? No? Alright, so I think we... Oh, oh right, that thing went up because we blocked the unblocked the laser. Okay. That just means it's light bridge time, right? No. No, it is not. So I need to block... That's how I do it. That's exactly how I do it. Okay, so... First of all, let's stick the orange there, because I'm just used to blue being my light bridge button. So I need to make a light bridge directly over this thing. Hip. There we go. And then I can put you, so you're blocking the laser. But then the moment that I move this thing, it'll press the button and unblock the laser as soon as I shoot blue anywhere else. It'll unblock the, it'll unblock the laser and pre open the door. Two birds, one stone and all that. And that's why they gave us enough space I over there for two. Think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, 
I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Oddly enough, Gladys sounds nothing like her voice actor. <laughs> like, the uh, computerization so heavy. The way she speaks is still part of the voice. Like, she still has to act the character. It's just the voice change is so significant you can't recognize it. The surprise, chapter four. It's just the uh, the way she speaks. Like, her, tone of, her uh, tone of voice and her cadence is all... That's all the voice actor, and like that's that's what she's accomplishing. But her nothing about the voice itself is recognizable as being that person. Ha. Hello, dark, creepy room. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. Up. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, oh. come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. 